Look at that one right there. Oh, we have pineapple. A, a slow cooked taco. How good. Um, with the weather getting cold, thanks for joining us right around the country. It's the perfect time to settle in with a cosy meal the whole family will enjoy. And what better way to do that with the good old slow oh, cooker yeah. recipe. That great feeling at dinner time when everything's done. In one dish. And to take <laughs> us through some of her favourite recipes from her new book, The Slow Cook, we're joined by author and television presenter Justine Schofield in Melbourne. Justine, if you've never used a slow cooker before, what Hi. do you need to know to get started? <laughs> Look, I think with uh, a slow cooker, you've got to make sure you brown everything off first. And I know it's like uh -huh. an extra step because the whole point of slow cooking is just to pop it in the slow cooker or in the stew pot and then just let it just cook away for the eight hours or three hours. But if you want the optimum flavour, the best thing to do is just brown it off. So, like, I've got beef cheeks here and I've oh, seared yeah, it all off it. first. I know, I love beef cheeks so much. And then all the vegetables, make sure you get good colour on them before you put it in your slow cooker. And if you do that, the flavour, the depth of flavour is just going to be so much better than just banging it into the slow cooker. Um, but, you know, there's so many different ways of doing it. You can either cook it into just on the stove top, you can do put it in the oven, or your good old slow cooker where you can just pop it in the slow cooker, go to work, forget about it. When you get home, the house is going to smell like beef cheeks, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. The first <laughs> recipe I ever learned was from Layla. Well, it was actually like 25 years ago when we were both at, at Channel 9 in Brizzy, I think. It was years and years ago. We were both very young. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was from a Stephanie Alexander cookbook, and it was an eight-hour lamb roast. It was the most delicious oh. thing ever. And, mm. I, and, and so seven good. hour lamb. Seven. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay, seven hour lamb. Yes. <laughs> From the you know what? Companion. Eight hours is better. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. Uh, Just say ten. The, what, ten hours. Ten hours. What are some <laughs> of the things you put in there? Because it can, it, the flavours can change quite dramatically over that time. Absolutely. In regards to Alex, uh, Stephanie's recipe or my recipe? No, no, yours now. Stephanie's. Oh, my yeah. recipe. Okay, so you can see I'm putting spices in here. After you've seared it off, you know, you can get the packet Mexican flavours, but just don't. Like, you've got all of these spices probably in your pantry. Cumin, coriander, smoked paprika. And this one's a real goodie to have. Um, chipotle in adobo sauce. It's oh, smoky chipotle. chilies. Oh, that's what I use. oh, it's so good. And if you've got, you're not going to use the whole pack. So just put that in a container and put it in your freezer and you can use it next time. So good you whack beans. that in the beef cheeks? Yep, yep, all of that, <laughs> all of that, and then some tomatoes. See, You'll need some liquid in there. See, with so that chilli con carne, I just use mints. That's how basic oh, I no. am. Oh, that's well, too basic. of course you can use mints, but the whole oh. point is slow cooking those pieces of meat that are sort of, they're not tender, and yeah. they're the secondary cuts that you usually forget about. That, if you try that now, it's going to be tough as a boot, but after three hours, it's going to be amazing. This is what it's going to be like. I'll show you. It's... Okay, oh. let's see the big reveal. <laughs> oh, see, it's, hello, oh, look at that. Stop it. And this so is why, why, is that, why are you doing this from Melbourne and not. <laughs> it's very soft. Oh, look I at mean, that. Border, you didn't border come with. Look at that. Oh, I yeah, know. Like that. Stop that it. Looks so incredible. that is just like gelatinous and just perfect. Oh, and it's only gelatinous. four beef cheeks. <laughs> I love that word. I probably shouldn't use it so much. No, I like it. <laughs> Some people don't see it as a. a um, which is there a particular slow cooker you should get, or what should you look out for? Yeah, a good question. Uh, there are so many different on the market. You can get the cheapest one, or you can get a really good quality one. I love this one um, at the back here because it not only slow cooks, but you can also slow cook fast, which is pressure cooking essentially. Uh -huh. um, and you can basically cook these uh, beef cheeks in 45 minutes, but get still out. have that slow cook result. <laughs> I know, I know, it's pretty amazing. Um, Ali Langdon, actually, I got, got her one of those, and she just loves it, particularly when you come into winter. It's just an awesome one to have. And well, I think she's certainly doing a lot of cooking with... at the moment. Yeah, hey? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Good but, on you, you Justine. Know, with slow cook. Yeah, yeah sure. We've, we've got a roll. Thank you so much. The, the cookbook is incredible. The um, slow cook, Justine Schofield. And Thanks, guys, for having stuff. me on. Oh, we've got a graphic. We're fighting over well, that. How one. did we get a graphic? Jeez, we've know. come a long way since Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Justine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Tomorrow, how to slow cook goulash. <laughs> Stay with us. You are watching today on Nine with Graphics. <laughs> Back right after that. <laughs>